and our enormous potential and opportunities have been harnessed by One Bank. One Bank stands strong as the bank of choice for Africans and Africa related businesses. UBA with a fast growing presence across Africa and in key global financial centers. UBA has a wide range of innovative products and services in retail, wholesale, and commercial banking tailored to the needs of individuals and businesses in Africa. Delivering convenience to customers and facilitating payments, remittances, trade, and economic development. United Bank for Africa. UBA is the one bank uniting African people and businesses with the world. So, make the wise choice today. Bank with UBA, Africa's global bank. My name is Ladi Taiwo. I am an advertising consultant. Well, uh, such mind-boggling figure is uh, if it's if it's well utilized for the purpose for which it is meant, I think it will. And if the operators or the persons or people who are supposed to use such use it for the very purpose for which it is meant, well, one may consider that uh, it is not too much for democracy at the end of the day. But being uh, the kind of environment that we are in, one fears, one has his own uh, fears that s such monies may not, at the end of the day, serve the purpose, the entire purpose for which it is meant. But if, if, if it is, uh, it's well utilized, I think, Nigeria will be the better for it. Well, uh, Jaga may be a man of integrity, but at the end of the day, Jaga is just one out of many. He, he, he has uh, people, I mean, he has, uh, he will require people, he will need people, he will, I mean, Jaga can't do the entire job. And if we recall in the past that uh, INEC officials had been, had been the issue, they had been the conduit for the for for corruption they had been the conduit for 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 rigging they had also been the conduit for uh the selection not not election processes that uh, we have we have had if we recall also the incident that happened in uh, was it ondo or ekiti the 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 adebayo saga so and if such people are still within the system itself, then it means that uh, Nigerians may have a long time to wait. For Jaga, I mean, I, I, I one wishes that a tree can make a forest, but it's just, it is impossible. So we find ourselves still asking questions. Would the operators of the system be sincere enough to give us credible elections? I care. I'm a Chuko. I'm a businessman. Uh, compared with the this thing, the level of unemployment that uh, you can see everywhere in the country right now, I mean, such amount is too much to, I mean, to give to INEC. Uh, I mean, for conducting election, because if I should say, you can see that graduates there is no work. Everywhere you see or card or card everywhere because of there is no job. Not that these people don't want to do anything, but this is the only thing that they can lay hand to do. And now, if you look at all the whole state, they are trying to stop them or, or card operation. I don't know. That is why you see crime everywhere. The rate of crime everywhere. Because if you can be able, to, if you take away food from uh, somebody's mouth, I mean that person can do anything to survive. So if, if I should say that government, instead of budgeting such big amount of giving to INEC to conduct an election, I mean, how many of us in population, even if they decide to say, okay, let us, uh, I mean, find a way to help these poor masses, instead of conducting by, uh, I mean, bringing up to 80 something billion. This is my first year of hearing this. The, mo the amount is too much. My brother, so I'm not in support of that. I'm not in support. If I should refer you back, 
like uh, a man like Humphrey was that gave us credible election here. Everybody knows about June 12th. I, I, I believe that Humphrey was didn't use up to this amount of giving us credible election. But for us to get a credible election is not the amount. Eh? But it's to get the right people. Uh, everybody know that we, there are, there, we have right people that can be able to give us credible election, not the amount. Because if you bring out this money right now, I mean, we, it will also go down the dream of this money bags. They will begin to, I mean, some people will just sh share this money and use it for themselves. Uh, Why, at the end of the day, we still go back to what we used to have before. So I, I should, what I will say now is this. Compared with other part of, I mean, foreign countries, you can't use this kind of money of conducting election. It's too much. It's too much for us to get the right people. It's not talking of money. We know the right people, eh? so we can go there and pick them. They will conduct a credible election for us. Not this kind of money. It's too much. Nigeria is suffering. We are suffering. Eh? Um, I'm also, Mr. Amuzo Akim. A teacher by profession. I think the money is not too much for the election. If we should put, look into the things involved, at least material and in, uh, both human resource, resources needed. You know, we have a, Nigeria is a very vast country, whereas we need to get to the roots. And if we need to conduct anything that we, we, we're really looking for through election, we have to get to the grassroots. And get it to the grass with this time around, we won't want a situation whereas someone at Alausa, for example, will be registered and people at Oregon will still be waiting for the same machine to be sent to Oregon for registration. So we, we need a thing that you know, the machines that will be imported for this specific election, we get to the, all the necessary venue at the same time at a specific time and everybody will register in accordance there won't be need for you waiting for people in Ogun State to finish their registration so for me the money is okay concerning the money and the pe people that is going to put things in place is another thing I would, have, I would like to comment on see the money is not is not the problem Nigeria has the money and we should use whatever we have to get whatever we want but people that is going to be used I'm not, I don't know much about uh, Jiga. People have commented on him. And I, you know Nigeria, they can praise you today and tomorrow they put you down. One thing I know is that they need to really scrutinize the people that is going to be involved. People have this agitating on the NYSA, but they should not say that the NYSA alone should do this. Because in this kind of work, we need experience. It was the experience of Jiga that makes people to be commend, commending him that he's a man that is outstanding. So they should involve some professionals. And when we're talking about professionals, it's not that there is no other, uh, there is no people in Nigeria that are sincere. Go to civil service, go to other uh, private parts that you see sincere people that are really w working towards you. Personally, individually, they are working towards rebuilding Nigeria. So we need to involve people who are sincerely Nigerians that are ready to work. So before you take this kind of job, I think what you guys should do, I'm happy that of recent I heard that there is, there is agitating for uh, electoral commission, whereas electoral crimes should be taken to. It's not electoral crime alone. If you are an INEC official, you are taking any part-time or full-time job with them, and you are caught with any insincerity, there should be a specific time for you. Either if it is... Um, uh, colliding with other parties, colliding with people at the registration center, do this, you are going for a year J term, you are going for so people should know what is at stake. Uh, concerning that, I believe um, the EFCC boss visited Jiga also, and this is more or less to alert Jiga that they are, they are after him, watching him also. So, after doing that, what I believe that is not left for EFCC to also stay out of the Jiga's uh, business. They should be watching whatever, wherever she he imported anything from, they should know what is importing. The company that is supplying them, they should have access to those companies. It's not to question whatever, if they should sell a laptop or anything they want to use at a million per, a million per one, is their less concern. But they should make sure that that money is used at the right, at the right places and at the right time. So with that, with EFCC, what they have been doing so far, I, I believe the, the money should be spent right. I said my name is George Wanchuku. I'm also a media consultant. Yeah, basically, from what you have just said, asked now, 
it is absolutely very, very expensive to use such amount to run an election for 20 million. Considering the fact that the majority of Nigerians are going through hell. We, are, we find it difficult to eat. And if we are spending so much for our election, that will eventually not bring nothing for Nigeria. Because 2011 is coming. And at the end of the day, these people will tell us that they will do that, they will do that. At the end of the day, they will not do anything. We have seen these experiences from the time we had an independence up to now. Nothing concrete has been done on the economy of Nigeria. For me, if we can find a solution, if we can find a solution on how to find a lower cost of our political system, it will be in our own good interest. And that is what I can say. Well, like I said, uh, uh, it's not it's, what is important to me is not about who is handling the election. What is important is the amount that is going to depend on uh, the election in Nigeria. I mean, even you bring the saints of Nigeria to economy, that's not important to us. It's the person, those who are going to manage the economy of Nigeria, that is important. Are they going to fulfill their promises? That's the question. How are they going to manage our economy for the next four years if they have been voted in? They all give us promises here and there. We've had so many promises, and yet those promises does not come to fruition. So what we should be thinking basically is to find a solution on how to bring the best candidates that will rule this country through a very low uh, or through a, a very economic uh, uh, you know, uh, process you know, and all that. Thank you so much for your time. That's my account officer. When he graduated, he told his family he hadn't done anything worthy of congratulations. That was before he went to the Access Bank School of Banking Excellence, where they test them again and again. Now you can congratulate me. Once you make it through the Access Bank School of Banking Excellence, you are indeed ready to play in the Ivy League of Banking. I believe that to be true, and that's why.